guys, it's Bella from Bella's Toy Chest. Um, tonight I decided to go ahead and do a video on one of my all-time favorite horror figures from the late 70s, which is Alien from 1979. So I figured I'd go ahead and show you a couple that I had. So what I'd like to start with is a loose Kenner Alien. He's from 1979. Um, he's actually one of the most terrifying figures that Kenner had ever put out. For one of the reasons, his mouth opens up and his jaws do expand, as you can see. This figure was put out by Kenner. Um, if you didn't know, they actually never even saw the movie before they released the figure. So they were just putting something together. But little did they know that it was actually um, pretty terrifying. Parents were complaining when the figure came out that it was too terrifying for children. So it quickly went into bargain bins um, and marked down so it could get off shelves. Uh, as you can see, he's pretty well sculpted. Uh, they do say that he can hang from his tail, but we won't try that today. So, this is the loose Kenner alien. He does glow in the dark on the top. He does have a plastic dome that goes over his head. And it covers. He does have spikes coming out of his back. This is my loose one. Um, I do have a couple other ones that I'd like to show you. So, set him right here. Okay, he's doing good. He's staying. Let me put his dome back on his head. So th that is the original 1979 Kenner Alien. Uh, I do have one that I'd like to show you that I got greeted. It's a pretty big box. So, oh. He fell. That's not a good thing. Let me go get his dome. <laughs> so he'll be laying down for the rest of the show. So this is the Kenner Alien. Um, it is graded in its original box. And as you can see, like I said, that they were marked down. Um, the original price tag was $4.99. They marked it down so they can get rid of um, him because, like I said, he was too terrifying for children. They, uh, the children actually, um, they weren't encouraged to watch the movie but they were encouraged more to play with the toy but like I said this toy was too terrifying for children so a lot of parents complained about it and this is the box to get a, a box one today would probably upwards of a thousand dollars but to get one sealed in the box and graded this was graded at a 75 so to get one sealed and graded, um, probably costs like 2,000, 2,500. But they did come out um, in the late 2000s. They remade it and came out with newer ones that are replicas of the originals. And they came out in three different ones that I'll show you in just a second. But he is 18 inches tall. Um, his dome does come off. He's um, mechanically operated jaw that comes in and out like I showed you in the beginning. So this one was graded at a 75 and here him, he is sealed in the box and graded. How said this right over here. So this is the newer one that they came out with, which is, I love the color. Um, he's like a glowing green. And as you can tell, it's a, as seen in the movie this one they came out with a green one which they kept his mouth silver in all of them but this is a more silver than the original his mouth does retract this is the box as you can see I paid hundred and ninety five dollars for this one which is a lot more than what they were in 1979 but this is the green one that they made um, they also made a remake and he is bronze um if you can see he's bronze um his 
mouth is silver. But it's kind of weird. They did remake them, but he didn't come with a dome, which is odd. But this is the bronze one. Um, again, you can find these upwards to $200 now, but to get an original one is way more than that. So this is him. Look at the little girl's face. She's terrified. That's how kids were in the 70s. Their parents didn't like them at all. I mean, I think they're pretty cool. And then we have the original remake, and then this is the black one. As you can tell, he is dark black. Um, he does have chrome on his mouth like the original one. So, he's actually pretty terrifying too, but I like the original one more than this guy right here. Again, the original one is just fun because um, it terrified children and their parents didn't like it at all. Uh, Kenner actually was a really big company back in the 70s due to Star Wars, but if you didn't know that the original Alien, um, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, uh, it was already embedded in children. It was a horror movie, so when the Alien came out, uh, it was a lot more terrifying. So again, this is the black one from the original one. And then, so, I'll go ahead and show you the original one again. He has eyes. The newer ones don't have eyes, which I guess because it's kind of like the dome is covered in it, but there is no removable dome. So, here he is. These are all my aliens. Um, I love it. He does look pretty terrifying. Imagine if a child took this out of the box and started screaming and his face was like, Rawr. Yeah, I love it. Uh, I do have him loose, so I play with him. He's very expensive loose. He's probably like a four, three, four hundred dollar figure loose. His dome actually costs the most. Um, if you try to find it, trying to find the dome is the hardest part, which is this piece right here. But still, uh, you know, I have him loose and graded and remade. So I'm going to put this little guy back on the shelf. So everybody say bye. Bye. Oh, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.